In this video, we're going to be doing the power portion of the MEP project. Uh, we're going to start in, we're going to load in a couple families. We're going to place disconnects on the uh, FPTUs and the VAVs. Uh, we'll power the water heater and finally put some, um, some duplex outlets around the space. So first you're going to start off, load in some default um, some default families. Uh, so I will go insert load family. These will be in the default library. So in US Imperial. Uh, we're going to get three from the electrical MEP, electrical power, and terminals here. And we want to grab the duplex receptacle, so just the basic one, not the top switched. Uh, we're going to get uh, disconnect switches here, and finally motor uh, motor rated switches down here. So I'm going to open to load those in, and then we're go also going to load in a um, uh, junction box. So that's just going to be up one level here, and so. Uh, Imperial Library, uh, Electrical MEP, Electrical Power, and then finally Distribution here. And we're going to use the Junction Box Load. This will let us assign volt amps to our circuit with a Junction Box. And lastly, uh, we're going to grab the uh, a floor box from the uh, All MEP Families for Students uh, that you have from me. So it will be the floor box power data here. I'll just click and drag this into my project. So next we're going to um, edit one of the disconnects so that we can use it with our, our FPTs here, fan power terminals. So everything we're going to be working with is going to be here in either electrical equipment or electrical, electrical fixtures here. So we're going to work with our disconnect switches here. Uh, so we're going to copy one of these uh, 240, uh, 240 volt fusible uh, 30 amp disconnects. So this 240 fusible 30, just this first one. Uh, let's duplicate this and we're going to call this one a 277 volt fusible 30 amp. Moves down here um, because it's in alphabetical order or numerical order I guess. Uh, so now we want to change the properties on this to uh, to be the correct voltage. So you can either double click on it here or you can right click and say type properties. And we're just going to change the switch voltage right here instead of 240 we're going to change this to 277 and then we're going to change it to a single pole. So number of poles one. That will allow us to match the voltage of these units here. If you go into edit type, you can see that these are 277 uh, volt one one pole. So we created a disconnect switch that will be compatible. So I'm going to go and start placing some disconnects on each um, each of these fan power terminals. Click and drag. <clears throat> These things are hosted uh, or uh, face-based, so it wants to only uh, attach to you know to, to walls or any sort of face. I'm actually going to just attach it directly to these units. And so, one, you want to make sure that you copy your uh, copy your offset. These units are 12 feet up, so I want to make my elevation on my disconnects 12 feet to match. And then I will set my offset here to one foot and that pulls it out just enough to it's easy to, to notice electrical is diagrammatical so you know it doesn't have to be exactly where they're going to put this disconnect switch right, so I'm going to go through here and I'm going to just create similar and drop disconnects on each of my fan power terminals here now you do want to keep in mind that um, remember you're going to have to connect all the disconnects to each other and then the fan power terminals there so that that may impact where you place your disconnect switches on your floor plan um, you know basically you're going to be connecting these things 
all the disconnect switches together and then wires from the disconnects to your units. All right, so we have the fan power terminals there. These um these families here actually have electrical connections built into them. Sometimes they won't. This VAV family down here doesn't actually have a electrical connection. See if I click on it, you don't see the lightning bolt like you do here. So this is the electrical connection for these units. This one doesn't have it, so that's why we loaded in the the J box here. So we're going to use the junction box load and essentially put a junction box here near this piece of equipment and that will uh, basically tell you know that's how we're going to control the load and the and our all of our electrical information so I'll put a junction box there and then uh, these units are 120 so you're going to use a 120 single phase or 120 one one pole here and instead of a regular disconnect switch because it's so uh, because it's a 120 volt you can use a motor rated switch uh, which remember is essentially a uh, like a light switch, uh, but rated for a little bit higher amperage. So these once again are face based. So, you know, it only wants to attach to you know certain parts of a uh, certain parts of your model here. So I'm just going to drop it here on my VAV. If you're having trouble getting it to uh, face the correct direction, and you notice if you hit spacebar, it mirrors it, but actually the S is backwards. Uh, you can just hit the tab key. Um, and that'll it'll basically flip around to the other face, but be uh, but the S symbol is the correct uh, direction. I'm gonna place that on my unit, and I'm gonna give it uh, once again the same uh, offset and our same elevation. So these things are 13 feet up. I'm gonna give a offset here so that I can pull a pull a wire between these two. You can actually also just grab grab the e, e connection here and move this around, and you can get it exactly where you want it. Um, if you want to find you know find and fine tune adjust it, and not have to go back over here and change your offset. Next, let's place the uh, the outlets around this space. So I'm going to go to my duplex receptacles here. Uh, you have your standard, which are just um, you know just your regular duplexes that will be around the space Missed one, messed up one here. Just pick new, choose the uh, choose the wall there. We have all of our devices and fixtures in place. Now we can start wiring and circuiting. So it's going to be the same process as the lights. Um, pretty much everything you want on one circuit, you're going to select all at once. Let's start with these um, outlets down here. I'm sorry, actually I forgot a floor box. So let's pull a floor box in here. Okay, so now let's uh, we're gonna wire up these um, outlets in this floor box. And these outlets here. I just selected the, uh, the units I want to be on one circuit. And I can say power. And once again, when you get the, the dashed lines here for the um, you know, showing you what uh, what it'll create when you hit arc wire. Uh, that looks pretty good for a start. Let's go in here and just kind of adjust some of the wires. Same principles as the lighting. With your open dots and your um, and your arc wires. Let's place a couple GFC outlets in the restrooms. And here, and once again, select all of the plugs you want to be on one circuit, and power. Uh, that looks okay. So create arcs. Uh, 
Let's do a couple home runs here. One here. One here. Okay, same thing for all of these uh, outlets on the exterior of the building. Just um, select all of these. You see, I just draw a, drew a window and I hit control and you know, keep drawing more windows and highlighting, uh, selecting all of your fixtures. I have seven fixtures here selected. So I'll power these. So this will jump back and forth. So I'm actually just going to, uh, not going to do the, the auto wire. I'll just use my EW command. And draw in. Remember, you want to hit the plugs um, at the bottom where your node is, where your power node is. And remember, if you're having trouble finding it, you can select the, the outlet, and it's going to be the, this blue dot down here. So EW, keep going to my wires, and let's do a home run here. So that is all the plugs circuited. Let's do the fan power terminals. I'm using my control click here to select my units. And I will just hit power. And see that looks pretty good. So I'll let it create the wires automatically. You have to go in here and kind of readjust everything. Um, not too big of a deal. You also want to make sure that you are connecting all of your disconnect switches to each other. If you notice on this one, it connected your disconnect directly to the unit, but that we want to go from disconnect to disconnect like this. Okay, next, let's select these. Units here, so we're going to just have these three on one circuit. So a power arc. Let's clean these up. Remember, disconnect to disconnect. There we go. And then lastly, these two here. All right, let's go back and put home runs. Uh, you do want the home runs to come from uh, from one of your disconnects. It doesn't really matter which one in the run. I'll just do these. And then lastly, we'll do our VAV down here. So this one you want to make sure to not select your VAV because this does not have any electrical components to it. You just do a window around it here. You see you don't have your uh, power option. So just grab the two, uh, your two units here, your junction box and your surface uh, motor, motor rated switch here. So I'll power. I'll actually draw it in because I want it to come from this way and draw a home run. So that is um, powering the unit, so now let's place them on the correct panels. So we will have um, H1 and L1 right now. Notice that you have lighting that you had from your last um, from your last lesson. I'm actually going to kind of move around here. When you're in your panels here, uh, you know, so how you kind of adjust what circuit everything is on and what what number um, uh, what number is called out, what space number is called out. You have these buttons up here on your panel schedule, and you can move your uh, move your circuit up and down. And this will change changes circuit number on the tag. Uh, you know, so you don't have to worry about going back and changing, you know, changing the tag or retagging or anything. 
Uh, so let's actually put all the lighting over here on um, one and three. What I did there is um, I just selected my my circuit. You can say move to, and you can make it jump directly to a direct directly to a different number without having to move it up and down and across manually. Uh, these let's actually rename of sliding. Lighting interior. Okay, so we're going to start off uh, doing um, the, the level one fan power terminals onto the H1. So I'll just click on my first um, first set over here on the far left hand side. If you go up to electrical circuit, this is where you set what panel. So we'll set it to H1 here. TG for tag. And I'll tag this wire so you see it's in H1-2. So what you can do is if you come over here to H1, you see it didn't really give it a name, but it has a it has a load and a certain a breaker in it. So it, it added to the schedule. Uh, if you want to name your circuits as you're going, you can do that from your uh, from your electrical circuit tab up here. If I click on one of the units, electrical circuit, go over here to load name. Now I can say level one fan power terminals. Uh, let's see fan power terminal units. We'll do FPTUs. So electrical circuit, load name. Now when I go back to my panel, your load name is already in the, uh, the panel schedule. So this is helpful uh, to do as you're going through, you know, so you don't have to go back and change, change the names and try to figure out what, you know, what was what uh, circuit-wise. So as you go through this. So I will change this one, electrical circuit. H1. This is, we'll do level one fan power terminal units. Here. Tag this. Same thing for this one. Electrical circuit. Panel H1. TG for tag. All right, so this one is uh, it put it on H15. It 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 always puts it on the first available space. So put it over here. I actually want to just move this across and have it and have all the fan power terminal units uh, here lined up in a row. Back to level one. All right, so let's start circuiting the uh, the low voltage or the stuff that will be on the L panel. I'm gonna start with this VAV. So you can click on either one of these units. Um, doesn't matter which one. Go to the electrical circuit tab. This one's on L1. TG for tag. L1-1. Uh, and this one should actually be on L2. So we know we can just go in here, electrical circuit. Uh, so it named it space four. So let's name this um, level one VAV. So now we go into L1. We want this to be on L1 2. So you just hit the move across, it'll move it over for you. All right, let's start. Uh, let's do this. One. TG for tag. L1-1. <clears throat> and then we're just going to call all these receptacles. Uh, just receptacles. You have to put what space number in or room number or anything. Just receptacles. 
Okay, there. Same thing for this run. Receptacles there. And lastly, this run here. DG for tag, uh, 1-4. Um, uh, I do want to keep these on the same. Um, I'm going to put them over here on 5 just so you have all the your receptacles in a row. So move 2 up here and drop it on L1-5. Go back to level 1 and I see that tag's updated. That's good. And that's the first floor. Now we're going to go on to level 2. I'm just going to do the same exact thing I did on level 1. Um, start off by creating the disconnect switches. Do the same 277 volt 30 amp here. These units are at 12 foot, so I'm going to move my elevation to 12 foot and set, set it a foot off of the unit. And then just create somewhere there and drop more. Okay, so that's the disconnect switches. Uh, let's do the VAV next. So that one was the junction box with the load, the 121 pole. The junction box here. And the motor rated switch as well. Use my tab key again to. Uh, Twelve six. All right, <clears throat> and this water heater. So um, sometimes, uh, sometimes the equipment that you know, but maybe plumbing or mechanical pull in uh, isn't the correct voltage. Um, if you look at this one, edit type on it. This one is a two forty. Two pole, this is more of a residential voltage um, that you'll have at your house. Uh, so we're going to change this to a 277 one pole. And this will allow us to use the same disconnect switch that we um that we created for, for these units. Uh, most uh, most water heaters, commercially anyway, you have uh, options, you know, whatever whatever voltage and, and poles you want. Um, you know, so it'd just be a matter of coordinating. So you you tell the you know the plumber, hey, I need you to get this at this voltage and, and uh, they can usually change it. So we need a disconnect switch here for the water heater. Uh, 277 usable here. I'll just place it on the wall beside the, the unit. All right, and let's place some electrical uh, duplexes or duplex outlets. So just use our standard um, where there's not going to be any water. Couple GFCIs in the restrooms, and we'll also put one out here 
on the um, like the outdoor terrace. Okay. Now we can start wiring everything up and circuiting. All right, so. One too many in there. Let's get these five. Our uh, arc wire. Delete the home run so we can put it over here where it's a little bit more visible. And you do want to be careful because we've uh, we've already started uh, circuiting things to L1. Um, we want to actually go in here and we want to make sure that we're going to level two or sorry um, L2. Uh, it'll automatically start putting things on L1 since that was the last panel that we assigned something to. So go ahead and put that on uh, L2. And looks like we've got a GFCI in the janitor's closet here. Get these five here. So power, arc wire, and clean up. See this one stuck, uh, went to L2. Um, we'll fix the, the actual circuit numbering here in a minute. Uh, we can though, making start making sure that our um, circuit names are correct. Power those, delete that home run, make it a little bit more manageable. All right, so this one is level two VAV, and let me create my own wire so I can come at it from this direction. I'm just getting the tag on here, so whenever we go to the panel board and move it to the correct space, it'll automatically uh, automatically be there. Okay, so let's do the uh, fan power terminals now. Looks pretty good. And these three over here. Power. Uh, looks pretty good. Depending on where you set your um, disconnect switches, uh, you know, it may automatically go to them. I may have to readjust or adjust everything. And lastly, we'll do the water heater here. Okay. 
Make sure these are all on H2, because we're on level 2 here. Uh, level 2 FPTUs. All right, so make sure everything's uh, H2 or L2. Everything looks good there. All right, so let's go to our panels now. And um, if you didn't do them in the correct order, we'll uh, go ahead and adjust everything. All right, so I'm going to do all the, the lighting. Lighting interior. Um, so you do actually have to have the uh, the space open if you use the, uh, you have the move to button. Uh, if there's not something already in that space, you can just, uh, you can just, Use your move to, and it'll it'll trade places with it. Water heater. All right, so we have our interior, exterior, two fan power terminals, and your water heater, and we'll also put the uh, electrical uh, HU and the fan on the uh, from the roof on H2 <clears throat> so for the fan we're going to use a, a disconnect switch that's going to be a, a 480 volt 30 amp so I'll say a 480 volt non-fuse 30 amp here So this one is kind of weird. It doesn't want to attach to um, any of the any actual sides. So what I'll do is I'll just drop it here, and then just uh, click and drag it uh, via the the electrical point, and it'll move it off. To, you move it to wherever you want. And then for the air handler unit, we're going to use the 480 volt non-fusible 100 amp. And I'm just going to. Go right here on the side of the unit. Okay, so this one uh, on the air handler unit will actually want to change the apparent load over here. Um, we're going to change this to 49883, and that will feed directly into the panel. Um, so if we if we didn't change this uh, on the panel board schedule here in our uh, in our load information, it would just say zero. Oh, we'll actually need to go into the edit type and set my voltage. So this is going to be a 480 volt. Piece of equipment. Now I can select both of these units and power. And then I'll just draw my home run from my disconnect switch here. And I don't mind that it's... um. That it, there's not a wire in between. Uh, the fact that it's right on the side uh, basically indicates that it's it's for that piece of equipment. So I'll tag this. So you went to HU6810. And then let's, uh, we're going to change the load name to AHU. And then we want to do the same thing here for this fan. Uh, all the power, all the power info should be correct. I'll just select the two and power. See it automatically went to H, uh, H2 panel. Let's draw a home run and tag. Then let's set the name. Exhaust fan. Now when we go into our panel H2 we have our AHU and exhaust fan here. Uh, we want to change the uh, 
trip rating. This is basically the size of the breaker. For the AHU, we're going to change that to a 100 amp breaker. All right, and then lastly, we're going to, going to uh, finish filling out the spaces on the panel and add in the AIC and the mains rating here. So we'll start with uh, start with L1 here. So for my low voltage panel, I'm going to use a it's 10 KAIC. Mains type is MCB. And we'll just leave it at the 225 amps that we brought it in. Um, we will, you can just click and drag uh, down on one side in your open um, open breakers. And these have a signed spare or signed space up here. Since these are shells and we'll, they'll end up putting stuff on these other breakers, uh, we just add spares uh, so they're, they're full and they don't have to buy any more spares. That's L1. L2, we're going to do that same thing. So these are 10 KAIC, MCB for the mains type. Uh, these, let's move the receptacles over on one side. Move my VAV up and fill out the rest with spares. All right, let's take a look at H1. Uh, H1, we're going to do 14 KAIC. Mains type is also MCB. Uh, we'll use the 125s, that's fine. Uh, so we have the two lighting on the odds and the fan power terminals, fan power terminals on the evens. Let's assign spares to the rest of these. And lastly, H2. H2 will also be a 14 KAIC panel, mains type MCB. Uh, we're going to change the mains type here to a 250 main and 250 MCB rating uh, because this has the water heater, the exhaust fan, and the AHU on it. Um, we want to we'll increase the size of the panel here so that uh, we can add add more, have more space for later, and then. Once again, just fill out the spares on the rest of the open spaces. All right, and once you're done with that, you are finished with the power portion of the project.